Parameterization in TestNG Parameterized tests allow developers to run the same test over and over again using different values. There are two ways to set these parameters. First way is by using testng.xml and the second way is by using data providers. Let's see how to pass parameters with data providers. Specifying parameters in testng.xml might not be sufficient if you need to pass complex parameters or parameters that need to be created from Java. In this case, you can use a data provider to supply the value you need to test. A data provider is a method on your class that returns an array of objects. This method is annotated with at data provider. Here in the data provider annotation, D and P are capital letters. Let's see a practical example. Before going into it, I recommend you to have a knowledge on arrays in Java. Let's create a new Java class. Data provider class. Create a new method. And take the annotation as at test. And the method name is login test. Inside the login test method, I'm going to print two values. One is username and second one is password. I will get the values for these two print statements from the data provider method. Now I am going to create a data provider method by using the annotation data provider. If the name is not supplied to the data provider annotation, the data provider's name automatically defaults to the method name. Creating a method get data, import the data provider annotation. Here for the method name get data it is showing an error that is just to mention the return value. Now I am going to create an object. Object data is equals to new object. Here I am taking the values. Total number of rows are 2 and total number of columns are 2. So here we took total number of rows are 2. So, so we will take two sets of test data. Test data I am taking as data 00 is equals to first UID and data 01 is equals to first password. And the second set of data I am taking similar way. Data one of zero one and one zero is equals to second UID and data one one is equals to second password. To the at test annotation, we are taking the attribute data provider is equals to get data, which is the method name of at data provider. So we, here we took two columns, total number of columns are two. So we have to pass two input values. I'm taking the input values as string UID and string password. Now 
based upon the data provider class I am executing the testng.xml file you can see the output in the testng output console the first set of data is username is first id and your password is first password similarly in the second test of data output is second uid and second password now i am changing the total number of rows are three so i am passing another set of data in the data provider method i am passing the values as user id and password here the total number of rows we passed are 3 so the total number of test data sets are 3 it starts from 0 to 2 and run the testng.xml file to see the output see the output in the console for the better understanding thank you